Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny exotic weapon review. Today we'll be taking a second look at the Fourth Horseman. The Fourth Horseman is relatively new to the Destiny scene, having been released alongside the Dark Below expansion in December. Its initial review was... underwhelming. With the release of Patch 1.1.2, things appear to be looking up for it though. The Fourth Horseman has seen its fire rate restored to its intended values, and now makes a pretty good case that it's worth another look over. As always, we'll begin by looking into what this exotic weapon has to offer in the stats department. Its rate of fire immediately jumps out, as the base stat itself is just a hair beneath being the absolute best in class. With that being said, we've all seen the reality. No shotgun comes close. To offset this, the 4th Horseman comes with an unreal base stability, eclipsing every other shotgun available. The rest of its statistics leave much to be desired, but it does have the correct points where it matters. Like Invective, the 4th Horseman can continuously discharge its barrels one by one by holding down the trigger. Its stats indicate it is simply among the best in terms of rate of fire. There's just no competition when it comes to speed. The 4th Horseman reigns supreme. It also enjoys many perks at its disposal. Considering its first row options, there's an obvious decision to make. The general trend is a choice between range or recoil management. CQB Ballistics grants even more stability on top of the Horseman's already stellar base, and Field Choke and Accurized Ballistics give helpful nudges to the much needed range and a smidgen of impact to boot. Between the two, Field Choke is going to be best if you prefer a little extra range over the minor penalty to stability. The 4th Horseman's base range is already so pathetic that a little extra off CQB Ballistics isn't going to make much of a difference. Its first standalone perk is a staple on many shotguns. Final Round grants a buff to the last blast in the Horseman's magazine. The collective increase in damage isn't substantial, but as the weapon practically begs you to spend its entire ammo reserve with every new enemy you face, it's a welcome last bit of oomph to finish off any pesky bullet sponge you may be dealing with. Row 3 brings a number of helpful additional bonuses that the 4th Horseman is grateful to have available. Fitted stock is there in case you were wondering, why can't my stability be even more ridiculous? And it's a great pick if you still have trouble managing its kick. Hand loaded, while not as potent as hammer forged, helps to patch the issues that the Horseman has with anyone outside of whispering distance. Finally, Speed Reload lets you get that magazine filled and ready for action much quicker. Any of these three are worthy choices depending on your needs. Only go with Hand Loaded if you're going to go all the way with a range build that'll include Field Choke or Accurized Ballistics, and if you can handle the recoil and short range, you'd be best served with Speed Reload. Fourth Horseman doesn't actually have a signature perk to its name. Instead, it's left with Return to Cinder, which has a small chance of returning around to the magazine on a kill. When it procs, this lets you keep up the pain for another fraction of a second, which is what the Fourth Horseman is just all about. Its arc damage is also worth mentioning as a positive. Bruisers like the Fallen Captains and Hive Knights are often the most dangerous close-range foes, and they are arc shielded in regular and epic activities. Their shields will just melt like butter in the face of this weapon. Unfortunately for the Fourth Horseman, it's been saddled with far too many weaknesses for just one patch to make everything okay again. Statistically, it has three crippling flaws, all of which are arguably essential for a well-rounded shotgun. First off, its impact class is disappointingly low, drastically limiting the damage a single shot can do. As it stands, when conserving ammo by limiting engagements to semi-auto, you'll be a little put off at how low the impact is. It still beats out a popular variant, Secret Handshake, but loses to Invective, Felwinter's Lie, and many of the other faction shotguns. Its range is also worst in class. This is a staggering blow to its utility, as range is one of the most important statistics for a shotgun. Paired with the aforementioned poor impact, this means no shotgun has a steeper penalty to drop off damage than the 4th Horseman. To round off the puzzlingly poor stat profile, its reload speed also takes the cake as an absolute bottom of the barrel bad. Unless you patch it with speed reload, you're going to be spending most of your time slowly putting round after round back into the ammo-chewing beast. The magazine size of 5 is average, but you'll be amazed at how quickly you'll go through it. Although its perks aren't exactly bad, neither Final Round nor Return to Cinder feel particularly exotic on the 4th Horseman. The weapon is defined by its high rate of fire automatic roll, and both of these perks, while contributing, feel a little underwhelming in light of what they could have been. 
Much like Pocket Infinity, the fourth horseman needs too many of its perks for trade-offs to ever be appealing. The range is so appalling that it might be tempting to go with Field Choke and Hand Loaded, but then you're stuck with a weapon that still has poor range, relatively speaking, and now reloads slow and still has a substantial amount of recoil. You might go for CQB Ballistics and Speed Reload and find yourself dismayed at how truly up close and personal you need to be with to get the full potential damage. The resulting perk picture is that of a weapon that is so severely limited in its usefulness by its stats that its perks can really only help to barely obscure its fatal flaws. This weapon is designed to do one thing and one thing only, unleash maximum hurt at intimate distances in record time. Does this make it viable for PvE and PvP? Let's consider. In PvE with 1.1.2, here's where we're willing to finally show the horseman a bit of love. As you no doubt seen by now, this weapon is able to put out some serious pain by emptying the magazine of 5 rounds all in under a second. These 5 rounds of recently buffed shotgun damage going into a single target is going to practically guarantee a kill on even the most sturdy foes, even doing respectable chunks to certain bosses. If you can safely get in their face, the last thing your enemies are going to see is the blinding flash of the 4th horseman delivering that swift, swift demise. The reason the Horseman has a bit of a role in PvE is because of the diminished necessity of range as a defining stat. Of course, it goes without saying that you better hope you're not going to be meleeed first, if that's a concern. Fortunately, if you land that first shot, the next four will either kill the unlucky bad guy outright, or guarantee he staggers long enough for you to quickly retreat to a safe distance and reload. If you do enjoy having a bit of range to work with in your PvE shotguns, the 4th Horseman is going to be at the bottom of your priority list to upgrade. The 4th Horseman requires fearlessness in this regard. By extension, any content in which one-shot melee kills are a threat almost precludes its usage. Light Switch Nightfalls, Daily Heroics, and Level 33 Hard Mode Crota all possess enemies that can kill you up close just as fast as you can kill them. If you're pausing to reload, which you will be often, or caught unaware, you will die. Finally, the upkeep to continuously make it useful is a little bit unreasonable. You'll be spending ammo almost as fast as you can pick it up, and the painfully slow base reload speed makes it a chore to prep again and again. You'll be consistently trying to save a clip for a tough major or ultra, and it will sit in your special slot like an exotic paperweight until you see fit to let it shine. To this end, we recommend swapping out liberally for better special alternatives when the content doesn't fit its unique niche. The bottom line is that this weapon will kill with extreme prejudice when it's called upon. However, it will do this from breathing distance, and it will be a burden on your time and resources in return. Don't use it as a crutch, your fire team needs you in the fray, not reloading safely in a corner just so you can gleefully drop one or two enemies before you need to reload again. If you can balance its drawbacks with its strengths, it will serve you very well. Just make sure to bring a lot of special ammo synths. In PvP, it's a disappointment, frankly. The two most important statistics for PvP shotguns are impact and range. The 4th Horseman has neither. Even with its range buffed by both Field Choke and Hand Loaded, it's outclassed by almost any similarly specced legendary, rare, or even uncommon alternative. It can't cause across the room range with Shot Package or Range Finder, and its automatic fire and perks don't do much to mitigate any of these problems. Final Round can add some slight stopping power, but Return to Cinder is all but useless. If you get close enough without facing return fire or a shotgun blast yourself, you have no need for more than two shots to finish off opposing guardians. The remainder are ammo-wasting overkill that are not outright needed. PvP is all about guaranteeing lethal results from maximum range, and the 4th Horseman was not designed with this requirement in mind. Like the Invective, it can arguably be used in a rush strategy. If you're attempting to get close and are spotted with a reasonable range, you can rush your opponent while holding the trigger down. You may stagger and shake them up with the fire rate despite the decreased damage in time to let final round offer the killing blow. As the horseman empties its mag so quickly though, you'll only have about a second to pull this off, and then you're out 5 rounds. It's not a winning strategy in the grand scheme of things. 
Special ammo has been made incredibly scarce, and for a weapon that is meant to voraciously consume its reserves, this is just a death sentence. Be prepared to face frustration as you barely connect with your pellets and quickly expend all available ammunition in shotgun duels and clutch moments. Honestly, there isn't really a single good thing to be said about the 4th Horseman in PvP. Everything it does can be done better by differing weapons, without the insult of consuming an exotic slot. Yes, if you can flank well and are already a good player, you can see some success with it, but this holds true for almost any weapon out there. If you're dead set on going automatic, then Found Verdict or Invective are going to be much better options in every regard. In conclusion, this weapon has finally been patched to its original purpose, and it's now defined by it, for better or for worse. In PvE, the 4th Horseman represents the pinnacle of burst damage in close quarters combat, but suffers in almost every other category for it. Its impact is not high enough to offset the fact that it has the worst range and reload speed of any shotgun available, but the 100% PvE damage buff helps to mask this obvious downside in most PvE encounters. In PvP, you'd be doing yourself a disservice taking this exotic weapon over any other, as it simply has no place among the other shotgun variants that are available. Overall though, the 4th Horseman is worth using for some PvE encounters. Its thunderous blasts of lead have made me experience something I haven't really felt for quite a while in PvE. And that's fun. It's simply fun to use. And that alone makes it a new part of my loadout. I hope you enjoyed this review. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.